Yes. The, man, that was one of the most amazing heavyweight fights I've seen in years. Tyson Fury versus Deontay, the bronze bomber, Wilder, when Deontay knocked him on his ass late in the fight, and somehow that dude rose from the dead. Rose from the dead. <laughs> Tyson the Fury. Undertaker. Yeah, yeah, right? And it was like, you saw the look on Deontay's face, like, how in the, what in the, well, anyway, man, we got the uh, CEO of Mayweather um, Productions, the financial um, manager for um, Floyd Mayweather, the one only Leonard Ellaby. He's a super, hey! super citizen. Yo, super citizen of Swain in the, the morning, morning man. Uh, when you saw that, though, did, did you feel like the draw was a fair score? It was early on in the fight, um, Fury was outboxing him, and I, I think the knockdowns did make the difference. Uh-huh. You know, so I, I think the draw was, it was official. Okay, it was official. What's your relationship to Deontay? What is your involvement in this fight? Um, We're promoting, one of the promoters pro promoting the event. Okay. Um, you know, we have a cool relationship. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. cool, cool brother. Yeah. Cool brother. Okay. Is he, who's he signed to? He's not signed to you guys, so is he? No, no, no. Okay, so how does that work, Leonard? Well, <laughs> <laughs> um. When when you've had the kind of success Mayweather Promotions has had, uh -huh. you know they bring us in to promote the event. You okay, know, we have a, a a big name in the sport. Uh -huh. We promoted the biggest events ever in the sport, and um, you know we come we come like heavyweights. Come like heavyweights. I I watched you. This had to be last night. A clip of you. Well, it was of the Charlo, one of the Charlo brothers. He's about to fight again. Um, he has, has a rematch fight, and I wanted to ask you. How do you keep a straight face during these um like conferences? Because the guy that he's going up against again, a rematch, he was just talking shit. He was like, "You suck. You a clown. I'm gonna beat your ass again." And then you walk across the screen to do something with a straight face. I'm like, "Why aren't you laughing? Like, what? Are you, you're just in a business sense." Well, at this level, when you've seen it all, you know, well over 23, 24 years actively at mm -hmm. the top of this sport. You know, you can't do nothing but just. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, because no, I'm saying for real, and it has to be a trick. We sit here and listen to a lot of whack rappers spit their bars. We try not to laugh. We know the cameras are here, and I'm trying to keep a straight face. I can't help it. But this dude is talking shit, and your face was like stoned. Yeah, um, I think the only time that I probably really shown emotion was really doing the lead up to the um uh, the Conor McGregor yeah. Floyd fight. Yeah, oh, I, just, okay. I, I had to just sit back and you know we was counting them dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got to, hey citizens, Yo, you got to be in here when Linda comes up here. His whole conversation, he got a smile on his face, <laughs> like Yo, man, it, absolutely. It, 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 man, I love life. I'm living my best life. You know, I have no reason not to be happy. Yeah, you know, wake up every day. You know, still we still on the grind, but mm -hmm. it's just. I'm living the best life possible. You okay. know, I'm just happy. I'm I'm in a good place in my life and you know, I'm just trying to help so many other people do the same. When other people hear that though, would you do you have any regrets? Like do you wish you would have maybe gotten to this sooner or you wish you would have kinda like No, actually I don't. Everything in life happens and it happens for a reason and it's all about God's timing. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. um we work very hard for many, many years to get to this point and you know, it's a it's truly a blessing. Mm -hmm. Truly a blessing. Mm -hmm. Man, we're talking about this big fight taking place this Saturday, yeah, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder versus Dominic Trouble Brazil. This is happening at the Barclays Center to be live on Showtime, presented by Premier Boxing Champions and Mayweather Promotions. Hey. What up, Mayweather? Money mate. I I you know, this is a fight that initially people said, why is he fighting this guy and why is he not fighting Anthony Joshua? Mm -hmm. And I think most people People who say that probably aren't familiar with Dominic. What is it about him that you think make him worthy to even step in the ring with De Deontay? Well, he's the mandatory challenger, so okay. you know the business part dictates that. Um, he's definitely mm. a worthy challenger. Um, he's he's only had one loss in his career. He's a very exciting fighter. He's a, a big puncher, and it should be a very, very good fight okay. on Saturday night. It's not going to be a easy fight for Deontay. No, I don't think so. I, I think that Deontay eventually will get to him uh -huh. because he has that one hitter quitter to get you out at any <laughs> any given time. Uh -huh. But I think there will be some dangerous moments in the fight, and it'll probably be early in the fight because Deontay has a an awkward style. But he'll soon figure it out, and I think that he'll clip him at some point in the fight. Here's what Deontay had to say about boxing. 
Hey, Dominique Brazil asked for this. I didn't go seek him, he seek me. So if it comes, it comes. This is a brutal sport. This is not a gentleman sport. I keep saying this is not a gentleman sport. We don't ask to hit each other in the face, but we does anyway. And you can ask any doctor around the world, and he'll tell you the head is not meant to be hit. Anybody can go. And on this particular time, we have bad blood against each other. This is the only sport where you can kill a man and get paid for it at the same time. It's legal. So why not use my right to do so? Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Leonard. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think a lot of that is um, I really don't know the context of the discussion because I wasn't there. Obviously, you know, I've been hearing quite a bit of it, but he's a good brother. And I think that that's more along the lines of I ain't going to say hype, but just, you know, he's caught up in the moment of having a discussion because truly I don't feel that he feels like that he has kids himself yeah you know he want to be able to come home to his own kids and, okay you know in this sport that scared me Leonard. yeah it's a brutal sport yeah. and and we don't wish harm on anyone you know we want two fighters going out and perform at the highest level mm -hmm. and get the fans what they want to see but we don't wish you know nothing like that to happen no you don't no. want to see that you don't want to see that um the, he's the mandatory brazil's the mandatory champion people want to see anthony joshua and the bronze bomber in the ring. I want to see it too. What's I, the problem? The problem is, that I think that from the other side of it, I know Deontay wants to fight him, and he wants to fight him really bad. Um, when it comes to Anthony Joshua, he has a promoter, and and I think that they're trying to build him up more. He's a, a major, major star over in the UK. He's and 22 um, and 0 with 21 knockouts. How, many, oh how much more do they need to build him up? But he's really not that seasoned. Believe it or not, he's really okay. you, you know. So I, I think that they want to get him a couple more fights, and mm -hmm. you know they've done that, and the fans want to see that fight. Yeah, and I think the fans deserve to see it, and I think they will see it very soon. Man, uh, Leonard Ellerby is here. We yep. talk about May 18th, Barclays Center, the Bronze Bomber. Uh, that's De Deontay Wilder will be taking on Dominique Trouble Brazil. That's this Saturday. Tracy Tomorrow. G. Yes, Mr. Ellerby. I'm wondering because we always see the fighters, especially before they get into the ring, and they'll have, you know, they'll talk shit to each other and they'll build up the anticipation. Behind the scenes, do the promoters battle it out at all, too? Is there shit talking amongst y'all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. I don't get caught up in that because I'm on another level. I right. mean, you know what I'm saying? Tell you all, you got to see him in these press conferences, baby. Has cool. anyone tried like, to troll you though? Tried to bring you in? Oh yeah, and and and, and I give it to him. I, I let him know when you when if I'm involved in something, if these are my fighters, don't come at me because I'm coming at you, and mm. you don't want that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We had a, a promoter recently, and you know I don't play them games. I don't play them games. I mean, it's, it's all about the fighters. I try to play the back and stay. You right. know, and let it be about the fighters. But when you get to coming at my guys, then I'm coming for you. What type of shit they say? Uh, you know, I can't really go into that part. But okay. I mean, you know, they try to come at you with little slick stuff. But it's like we cut differently. I'm, you know, I'm not like some of these other promoters. You, you I'm know, different. We, we from the hood. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's yeah. like don't Got it. don't get this. Don't let this suit right. Them Cartier yeah, shades you know, fool you. No yeah. rim. Wow. Oh, man, and plus, you, they don't know about you. My man Al is from D.C. He going to give us a little bit of insight on Leonard. Leonard, um, uh, Al, what up? Good morning, man. What's up? What's happening? Man. Hey, uh, I don't, I, hey how y'all doing? I think uh, Scoob not giving y'all uh, his true backdrop because this brother has come a long, long way, and I am proud of him, and everybody from DMV is very proud of Leonard. He, uh in the Air Force together, and um, he was a boxer, he was in Germany, and um, he was, he was with, he was trying to make the big team, wait He f Say that again? Oh. Of course, he said, hey, look, I'm going to spar with um, somebody real important, and then initially, we thought, hey, what is he doing? But look, he had the insight, and uh, he knew what he was doing, and uh, look at him now. And uh, So you were in the Air Force with this man? Yeah. 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 That's right, that's right. 1983? Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Thank wow. you for your service. Wow. That's crazy. I, thank you for your service, Al. Right. Thank hey, you hey, for... Hey. Go ahead. Hey, hey, one last thing. Hey, school. me and Steve been trying to catch up with you, so we're going we gonna to eventually hook up out there in our Vegas, all right? Most definitely. Okay. Got to do that. All right. Got to do that. <laughs> all right, Al. Appreciate the support. Al, you a citizen, man. Swain the morning. What's that That's... nickname he called you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> you know, that's for, that's some round the way stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's somebody that know you from. <laughs> know you know you. <laughs> <laughs> we like gonna I come. got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he had love for you, too. We coming back, man. Leonard Ellaby, you're going to ask him anything. 888-742-3345. But you got to be different to talk to him. Uh-huh. You got to be different. Different. CEO of Mayweather Promotions, financial advisor to Floyd Mayweather. Yep, yep. The most successful organization to be put together in the history of sports. Sports. In terms of promotions, as you're looking out, he's sitting in our studio. Don't marginalize him. Okay. Don't, it ain't just boxing. He's swaying the morning financial advisor, too. Factual. Okay. <laughs> right, Leonard? <laughs> <laughs> I got you, Sway. All right, uh, man, we got a couple of people calling up. 888-742-3345. David's on the line from Denver. Good morning, David. How David, you doing? David, what's good? David. Good morning. What's going on, Mr. LRB? Money team all day long. I'm all day, every Michigan. day. Mm-hmm. I'm originally from Michigan, and I'm getting ready to move back to open a martial arts school. I had a quick question for you. I grew up on the sweet science in the 80s with my dad watching boxing, the Tyson Chavez's fight. I'm just curious, why is it that Brazil is... Ranked number four, but Dylan White has been overlooked again. Well, it's just the politics of the sport. I think Dylan is going to get a big opportunity very soon from what I'm hearing. And um, he's a tremendous fighter. Um, he reps the U.K. very well. And um, he's going to get a big opportunity. And hopefully he can come through when that opportunity, you know, happens. Okay. That's a question, Dave. Well, I was just Okay. That was my question. And I have just one other one real quick, sir. Sure. Do you have any business advice you could uh, offer to somebody that's opening up his first martial arts school? Do lots of homework. Surround yourself with a, a great team. Okay. Okay. Great. There you go, David. Hey, no, you're a citizen, man. Swain the morning. Good luck with everything, David. Yeah. All right. Um, Thank you very much. Absolutely. Let's talk about Javante Davis, man. So um, I know Russell Jr., Call is calling him out right now, but who, who's his mandatory challenger right now? Is it Nunez, Ricardo Nunez? Is yes. That, is that who he's fighting next? Yes. Why you have to? to <laughs> no, no, no. I, I mean, because I, you. This is the first time I'm having this conversation, so you got it. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Oh, wow. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So Javante Davis is uh, fighting his mandatory July 27th at Royal Farms Arena in Baltimore, and it's going to be a sold out event, and I can't wait. Oh my gosh, man! We got that first right here. Yo, got circulate it right that. Here. Send Sway that off. In the morning. Uh, Sirius who, XM Sports. I know. <laughs> he, <laughs> I know he would take on anybody, but who is the person he wants the most, Davis? He wants to fight all these guys, especially a lot. Of, everybody's calling him out. We had this conversation yesterday. That's a great thing. Uh-huh. You know, he's a young rising star in the sport, and anytime everybody want to get at you, that's a great thing. Uh huh. Um, the oh. objective is we're gonna. Hopefully he can get past this mandatory on July the 27th. And then we're looking to unify at the end of the year uh-huh. with um, any of the guys who are champions. Uh-huh. And um, there's um, Russell's calling him uh-huh. out. Uh, Leo Santa Cruz is calling him out. Uh, Abner Mares is calling him out. Everybody wants to fight Tank because they know that represents the biggest payday possible for them. Tank is that dude in boxing. He's that dude, right? He's that dude. Will he ever fight Lomachenko? Sure, if it's if the opportunity presents itself and the timing is right, of course. Okay, all right. Um, Linda, when we see boxers, a lot of times, obviously, a natural progression is to start promoting. You know, to become your own promoter, and you guys have been uber successful at that. Um, what about owning your own arenas? Like you have these fights at the MGM, you have these fights at the Barclay. What about the Mayweather Arena or the Mayweather Forum? Is that something that boxers get into? Oh, most definitely. We're heavily vested in with the MGM. Mm. Oh. Heavily, heavily vested with the MGM. Like 50, I mean, 50? between the lines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, so um, we, we Floyd had had a vision for many, many years. Okay. And that's why we built a wonderful relationship. And um, just recently I was watching the um, a video of the groundbreaking ceremony when uh-huh. um, the T-Mobile um, arena yeah. was yeah. built. Yeah, yeah. And, um, Again, we're we're heavily vested with the MGM. Nice. Okay. okay. So, so I was at the um, MGM uh, when uh, the UFC. Um, I don't know which number event it was, but uh, Tyron Woodley was defending his title and right. losing that day. A uh, good friend of mine, and I had a lot of boxing enthusiasts running up to me, saying, "Saying in my ear, it's going to happen. It's going to happen." And I'm like, "What's going to happen?" Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao are in discussions to have a fight. Is that true? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Floyd is truly living his best life. Mm-hmm. Um, he's gets a seven-figure check 
every month for the rest of his life. Oh, my, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, my gosh. I'm in the wrong occupation. He has nine figures in the bank. Uh-huh. <laughs> People yeah. thought his Christmas tree was in a mall. <laughs> So man, I suck. I was yo, I gotta do something better. Does he need yeah. an assistant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have serious has, XM. <laughs> he has like three buildings in Times Square that yeah. he's yeah. part owner of. Uh-huh. On, so man. he doesn't want to because people like they want to see him fight Crawford. They want to see him fight yeah. Thurman. They want to see him fight Earl Spence Jr. He just has no desire. For what? <laughs> <laughs> he's, again, he's accomplished everything. <laughs> he's, cracking up, you got he's, to he's accomplished everything <laughs> any man could ever accomplish in this sport. He's broke all the records, broke the bank. Uh-huh. What else is there Literally. to do? He's forty-two years old. He's young as fuck. Wow, living yeah, his wow. best life. You know he he's got he has houses oh in Miami. Gosh. He houses in in L. A. He got property here in New York, uh, Michigan. Vegas, you, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's it's like he's he has his own jet. But but you know, I was just well, watching mm-hmm. um, the HBO special Muhammad Ali. Say my name. Is it, is it, what's my name? And it talked about how Ali, you know, continued to fight even after reclaiming the mm-hmm. heavyweight championship three times, and had never been done. But he just still had that desire to fight. A lot of boxers do that. We saw Bernard Hopkins step into the ring maybe one time too many. In his last fight, we didn't want to see him end his career like that. Floyd doesn't have any ass. He's done. No, man. Okay, that, right. Man, he he wakes up yeah. and decides what he wants to do. Oh, I want to fly here. I want to go there. He runs up and down the road in his jet like it's a taxi. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, Sway. It's, it's different. different. Hey, Floyd, let us broadcast from the jet. Yo, come on, Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a good dude, man. He's, yeah. he's, hey, ask him, can we broadcast dude. from the Vegas house? <laughs> Most definitely. No, I'm, I mean, I'm dead ass. He, he, he has houses everywhere. Real estate everywhere. You know, that's, that's, his, that's his that's his obsession. Uh-huh. It's real estate. It's real estate. Real estate. All right, man. Leonard Ellerby is here. We're talking about May 18th, tomorrow that's night. Amazing. Barclays Center. Dominic Trouble Brazil versus Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Who will come out victorious? Who has a question? Javier's in Cali. Go ahead, Javier. Javier. Hey. Yeah, I'm a big boxing fan, and uh, just out of curiosity, what's your guys' relationship with uh, Golden Boy? Um, you know, you guys do a lot of fights, and I just thought I'd ask. Don't have one at all. Really don't care for them cats at all. Just keeping it 100. Why? Why not? Just... Um, Because the, the, the head of that Oscar, organ- yeah, that organization, we don't fuck with him. Okay. That's, on any level. Mm-hmm. That's just being 100. At one point, would you have considered it? We've, we've done business with him in the past, but uh-huh. I mean, he's just out of control. He's just out of control. Very disrespectful. You know, I, so I, I don't deal with clowns. You okay. know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't. Okay. All right. Uh, Javier, did that answer you? <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive, yeah, no, serious big, XM big Sports. Fan. I'm a, a big, big, uh, you know, big up to you guys. Uh, I love what you guys are doing, and thanks for bringing boxing back for the past five, ten years. It's been awesome. All right. Thank you. Really appreciate the support. You know, and what he said is true. When Showtime cut that deal with Mayweather Promotions, you know, um, and Floyd agreed to do this, those last six fights, um, to me, that reinvigorated the whole allure of boxing. Right. Like, it, it really, it, uh, from an economical sense, from a, even a romantic sense, those who romanticize about boxing, to see him commit to so many fights, you know, as fast as he was committed. It was like two a year, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. he elevated the sport. I mean, yeah. he, he like you said, he made it sexy again. Uh-huh. The, his, his fights were events. That's all everyone talked about is going to the Mayweather fight. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You know, like how mm-hmm. they did back in the day, the Tyson fights. Yeah. Right. We all, all the celebrities would come to the, the fights from all different walks of life. And, you know, they were big events. Yeah, they were big events. Record-breaking events. And shout out to my dude, Steve Espinosa over there, too. Showtime. Oh, that's my guy. Man. He was, uh, one, of the, one of the coolest cats you will ever meet. Highly intelligent. Mm-hmm. Um, he understands the business, but he also understands, you know, where we come from and what we're about. I used to play basketball with him in Oak in the Bay Area. You know, I'm from Oakland. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Him and when we were young, before any of our careers took off, we used to play basketball over in uh, Palo Alto. That's one of the realest dudes in boxing. Oh, I tell you, I got mad respect for him. Number love. That's family. Okay. We should let Leonard, like, organize. We should fight other radio stations. Because I can't <laughs> get past, like, <laughs> the seven-figure check once a month. We let Leonard every organize month. every month. Every month. Every month. 
We could go beat up other radio What's stations. Today? Where you, What's today? Today is the 16th? 17th. Yeah, he check today. today. Oh! <laughs> He's the check today. About to hit up Floyd, Let's man. go fight other radios. Come oh, on, you, we got you, We can do it. I've been training. Up the hill. Yeah. Oh, kill me and you. I've been we, training. We can, come on. So okay. Tracy be kickboxing um, on the Pilates. Yeah. What is it, Pilates? All of it. Yeah, Tracy got a nice um, one-two combo. Let you know? Lenny organize it. Yeah, we, we down. We fight it. Yeah. Go, go, go everywhere. I love taking a punch. <laughs> I like getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick, uh, what did you think? <laughs> I, I, I really thought Daniel Jacobs would do a lot better mm. against um, um, Canelo Alvarez. What did you think of that fight? I didn't watch the fight, uh -huh. believe it or not, because I was doing some stuff with my daughter that night. Um, but he's uh, Danny is an outstanding fighter. Um, Canelo's just on another level. I mean, yeah. that brother, he that loss... That that ass whooping he took from Floyd, <laughs> um, he learned a lot from it. Yeah. He learned a lot from it. Mm -hmm. Nothing but respect for him. Mm -hmm. um, he's a tremendous fighter. I think he's one or two, you know, top two fighters in the world. Yeah, great fighter. Nothing but mad respect for him and his team. Yeah, and his team. Yeah. Great team. You know, you know, I just don't mess with his promoter. His promoter. Yeah. What do you think of the deal they did with the zone? I mean, they say it's one of the biggest deals ever. What is it, eleven fights uh, or eleven ten fights for three hundred or something million? Well, I really don't know how real the situation is. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because the zone is a, a new entity, and you know they don't they 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 don't have to show their numbers. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So you don't really know. But he's a good brother. I'm happy for him that he got a big deal. He deserves it. Uh -huh. You know, he's went out there and did his thing. Okay, did you watch the Williams Hurd fight? Oh, most definitely. You Yo, kidding me? Man, what the hell? Like, like Williams like, looked amazing. He is an amazing brother, and and I just had that uh, conversation with um, Crystal um, on the, on the ride over here. He's he's one of the best fighters in the world. Uh huh. Um, and I've been saying that for quite some time, people, because he's been under the radar. But it's something about that brother that um, I, he's a complete fighter for one. Um, he's he's from Philly. He's a family man. He's um he's dedicated to his craft. Mm -hmm. He has great vision, and he's about it, about it. He's you, about you know? it, about it. You gotta you gotta see. He came in, got a new conditioning coach to fight her, Jared Hurt, right, and Julian Williams. Um, and he just outboxed him. And I, I honestly thought Hurt was gonna come out victorious. Well, people people don't really understand the sport when he fought. Um, when he fought Jamel Charlo, who's yeah. fighting Tony mm -hmm. Harrison, mm -hmm. he just got caught with a big shot. Yeah, that, that's all. That's all it was. He just got caught with a big shot. It happens in boxing. We've seen it time and time again. And he tried to get up, and and you know, and and he he hung in there for a minute, and and the ref they stopped the fight, and it was okay. I mean, it happens to the best of the fighters, you know, in the world. But he he showed what resilience was all about. And he continued to believe in himself and his abilities. And we saw what happened on uh, last Saturday. He's a champion. Yeah. When is Tony and Charlo fighting? When is that fight? June 23rd. We need to. When is that fight? Where is it? In Vegas at the MGM. I got you. All right. You can, oh, wait, who, oh, Tracy, too. You got all of us. Right? Yeah. No, okay. Seriously, seriously. I got you. We okay. have to be at this fight. Oh, no. I, that, that's a, that is a must see fight. This is a must see. We need good seats, though, Leonard. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. Oh, Come just, on. Oh, just throw that out. <laughs> <laughs> he had to look at this way. He you know, I ain't going like... to play with nothing like that. All right. You my dude. Uh, okay. Absolutely. This is family here. Yeah. Okay. Thank absolutely. You. Thank you. We going to that one, Sway. Uh, yeah, I was one one yeah. more I wanted to ask you about. Uh, ah, man, you, you talked about getting a big punch. I can't think of the fight I wanted to ask you about. What was the, when do you think in Floyd's career, when, when, is, when what punch you think had him in the most jeopardy? Mm. Shane Mosley. Yeah. Shane Mosley. Yeah, I saw yeah, it. But, but Floyd showed you what, it, what yeah. you know, he's a dog. Mm -hmm. He showed you what a dog. He got caught with that big shot, and mm -hmm. he and and he was buzzed really bad, mm -hmm. and he locked up. Yeah, he locked him up. And then he walked him down like a dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and, 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 and we, we, we saw what Shane Mosley was doing. He was, he was, he was reeling the whole fight. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the real Floyd that we see in the gym every day. They, people don't get a chance to see that. Floyd that walks people down. Okay. Yeah. We saw that. Mm. People feel like Maidana got that first fight. No. <laughs> fight wasn't even close. They, what happens is is that people not used to seeing Floyd get hit at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he, he got hit in the fight. It's boxing. You're going to yeah. get hit. Yeah. Right. And, you know, they put more into it than it actually was. And that's why I said, okay, well, y'all think the fight was close. Let's run it back. And then you saw what it was. <laughs> have you guys ever, what's an example of something you and Floyd have disagreed about but then came to 
conclusions. Man, me and Floyd disagree about a whole lot of stuff. But that's, <laughs> okay. that, that's what I love about my brother is that because we handle things like men. You know what I'm saying? We mm-hmm. we might not agree on something. He might say, L, you know, this, this, and this. And I'm like, Floyd, no, it's like this. You know, and, and it's like, but we do it in private, though. Okay. Mm-hmm. We, you know, we, it's, like that's how that. we, Right, because you like have to that. be. Like, how yeah. men do shit. Yeah, like, right. like men. United front. Yeah, we, we go in a room somewhere, he say, well, I don't like this. And I say, well, I don't like this. Yeah. You know, and, and this is why I did this. And this, this you know, mm-hmm. we have disagreements. That's part of business. It's part of being a family. We love one another. That's my dude. You my dude. Leonard Ellaby, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. <laughs> Mayweather Promotions. Thank you. Tomorrow night. Taking place at the Barclays Center. The one and only Dominant <laughs> Trouble Brazil, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Make sure you tune in on Showtime. Check your local listings. Leonard Ellaby, thanks for coming through, man. Thank you for having me on once again. Every this time. is home. This is home, man. You, yeah. you, you're welcome to the ring, baby. I need everybody to go to DJ Wonder right now. He's about to go into the mix. He's on that Instagram. Question, we got Michael K. <laughs> Williams coming up. Uh, we got Yar Shahidi and Charles Melton coming up and Griselda Records Takeover. So we got Westside Gun. We got Benny. We got Conway. They all here. But right now it's the one and only. Hold on. You know what it is. What's it's Friday. Friday. It's, it's Friday. Friday. Maybe maybe we can have Leonard pick the first song since it's Total Request Friday. What do you, what do you think, Sway? Hey, hey, Leonard. Leonard. Right. You want to start the mix off? Any song you want to hear, he'll play. Go. Oh, so many. Yeah. yeah. Think hip-hop, though. Like oh, it could be, uh, it could be, it could be, it could be uh, anything. Yeah, anything. OJ's or nothing like that. <laughs> Give me some some nip. Some nip, see hustle. Yeah. Hi. All right, okay, I like that. Yeah, I some appreciate nip. that. Yeah. yeah, rest of power to my yeah. brother Nipsey, who's been up on this show a few times. You know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I will do that. You got that, Wonder? Oh yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the one and only DJ. Oh.